Watching Pastor Alf Lucar, General Overseer of Alleluia Ministries International. The rise of the prophetic voice, the time to wander in the dark with no direction, is over. The time of a weak and impactless church is over. The rise of the prophetic voice is upon us. It is time to change your life through the prophetic. Stay tuned with Pastor Elf Lukau. It is our time to pray, fast, and seek the face of God again. Every month of July, by God's order, we come together for seven days of prayer and fasting seven days of glory wherever you are this is your divine invitation join me as we pray and fast for seven days from wednesday the first of july to tuesday the seventh of july number seven is god's number of glory in these seven days in the seventh month of this year 2020 we will indeed see the glory and the power of God. Fasting time. A time to move away from the crowd and bask in God's presence in a secret place. His word says you will seek me and you will find me if you will seek me with all your heart. It is time to pray. In this season, align your spirit. For God is about to release a great measure of his glory and power over you. That which you did not see in the first half of this year is about manifest in your life as you heed this call to pray and fast. This seven days invitation to pray and fast is a convocation of God. Your life will never be the same again. From six to six, we will seek the face of God. He will glorify his name. As the servant of the Lord, Pastor Elf Lucal will hold your hand and lead you you will set time aside to commune with God. You will call on heaven, and a mighty wave of God's glory will seep over you. These seven days of glory were ordained by God for you. And as we'll be fasting and praying for these seven days in the seventh month of this year, 2020, we will all fulfill the instructions the Lord will give us prophetically. Every prophetic instruction released and obeyed will unlock a door to your miracle. Pastor Elf Lukau has received divine instructions from the throne room, and as you walk in obedience, you will be a recipient of the blessings apportioned for this season. I am excited in anticipation that uh, you will join the call of God and the glory of God will be all yours. God is never hidden from those who pursue him. Get ready to travail in prayer. Through worship and intimacy, a liquid blanket of his power will cover you. Beloved, it is your obedience during this time that will set you apart. Number seven, God's number of perfection. He will perfect in your life his promises, his word, his will. You are about to experience the glory of God unlike anything you ever experienced before. There are no limits. The degree to which you will connect during this highly spiritual moment is the degree to which you will see God move in your life. Beloved, these seven days are prophetic. Called and set aside by God to be your intercessor. My name is Afro Kao, and I approve this message. Get ready for a fresh anointing. 
Get ready for a new dimension of power. Get ready for greater grace. These will surely be your portion. Join Pastor Elf Lucar from the 1st of July to the 7th of July from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Beloved, God has once again remembered you. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf Lukau. Well beloved, shalom. This is Pastor Alf Lukau and it is with great joy that I seize this moment to share with you the word of God. Welcome all of you. Wherever you may be, may God bless you. God bless you. I welcome all of you from uh, uh, the east to the west, from the north to the south. We are in uh, South Africa and are uh, broadcasting to you live. I bring you good tidings. I bring you good news. I believe that the Lord is restoring somebody's hope today. This is a beautiful day, and I thank God for what he will do. In anticipation, my spirit is bubbling of joy. I need you to invite your loved one. This is a new moment in God. We started speaking about the sacrifice, the law of sacrifice. What does not cost you will not pay you. And we had closed the thought of God, the revelation that the Lord had given us and shared with us last week. Today, we begin something completely new. My spirit is bubbling. I am overjoyed. I believe that uh, somebody has been waiting for this moment. The Lord who brought you this far has set you up for a miracle. You're about to receive something that will turn your life around. What the Lord has for you is priceless. It has no price tag on it. It is a gift and it is your heritage. Let your loved one come. This is our time. If you are watching us on social media, please share this video. It is critical that you share this video. You must participate on what God is doing right now. Make it your agenda. Participate. Push the agenda of the kingdom of God. Share this video on YouTube, on Facebook, and on YouTube. Please click like. If you can, please like this video. We have so many people who are watching and will need uh, uh, to be connected. Please subscribe. If you are watching, you have not yet subscribed, please, I want to give you some time to subscribe. It is very important and indispensable in what God want to do for your own life. God will use this channel to bless you, the YouTube channel. He will use it to turn your life around, to mold you. He will equip you. He will motivate your faith. He will trigger the anointing that he has released over you through this channel. So it is critical that you may be connected to it. It is important for you to be connected to the right thing if you want to have the right thing come to you. So make sure that you are not just a viewer, but you have subscribed. You have joined the 900 plus thousand people who are part of this channel. The Lord is doing a new thing in the world. And I'm just uh, overjoyed. I'm excited. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I say in anticipation, there is a miracle, I believe, that is coming to you. Today, I begin a new journey with you. As per the order of the Lord. Now, hear this. Exactly two weeks ago, on Monday, as I was sharing the word with uh, my sons, pastors, on our virtual platform Zoom meeting that we have every evening, every Monday. I meet hundreds of my pastors from around the world, from literally every corner of the globe, faithfully, every Monday. So we do it on a virtual, virtual platform. So I shared with them a vision that the Lord had given me. In that vision, I had seen myself dressed like a medical doctor, and I walked in uh, what seemed to be a ward, a medical ward in the hospital. Many beds were on the both sides, left and right. And people seemed to be very sick in that hospital ward. And I had uh, what seemed to be like a, a file, a file for each person. And uh, I would uh, walk 
toward a bed and somebody bedridden, very sick, yeah. reading the file, say some words and move to the next and move to the next. But what was uh, mind-blowing was that uh, as I moved to the next person, the person I dealt with uh, previously will arise, be transformed and dressed just like I was dressed, like a medical doctor, and he will follow me. So we moved from uh, two to 20 to 200, and it was a huge world. world. And we carry on walking, and the more we took steps, going to the assignment or going forward, the more a crowd of men and women who previously were bedridden were following me. It was a crowd following me of a medical doctor made of men who previously, in that very moment, in that very world, were bedridden. And the Lord spoke to me about the wind of healing through the prophetic anointing that is taking place in the world. Oh, I thank God. The Bible says, if uh, my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I, God, will hear them, hear them from heaven, forgive the sin and heal their land. Now, the healing of the land speaks of the healing of the soil, the healing of the platform. Once that takes place, every other thing will align with the restoration of God. A half will be restored, the economy of the land will be restored, the uh, moral fiber of man in that society, in that community will also be restored. There will be the manifestation of restoration in every sphere in that society, in that world. He said, I will heal the land. I'm believing God that uh, his word will be yours in this hour, in the name of Jesus. So my message to you, the good tidings I have for you, is titled DJ. DJ, Dr. Jesus. Dr. Jesus, DJ. Wow. I believe that you're feeling the excitement I have. So we'll be talking about the healing power of God. Dr. Jesus still heals today. I want you to understand this. Dr. Jesus still heals today. He healed yesterday. He heals today. And he will heal tomorrow. I need you to embrace the healing power of God. I need you to make this truth part of and parcel of who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, irrespective of who you are, what you have been through, what you have acquired in life, there is no price to your good health. Health has no price. There is nothing that beats your good health. I've seen men with uh, great wealth, they had cars, houses, and so forth. But because their health failed them, the test of joy departed from them. You may be out there, you, you have a medical insurance. But let me tell you, your medical insurance does not guarantee your good health. You may say that uh, you gym well, you are always training, you are fit. I have seen people right in the gym dying of uh, cardiac arrest. Your good health is uh, your heritage. It is one of the greatest blessings you have from God. And it is uh, with your faith that uh, you receive it and maintain yourself in it. Among the five greatest things that Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross of Calvary, the Bible says, by straps we are healed. He has given us good health. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not have a car, but a health is what God wants you to have. You may not say that I do not own yet my house. I love it when I say yet. Y-E-T, meaning that uh, there is still something moving and uh, it is a work in progress. I have not yet owned my own house, but your health is key. The enemy knows that he can undermine the work of God on earth through you if he undermines your health. Now across the globe, men and women are being destroyed, attacked in their body, attacked by the enemy. 
They have uh, uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, the suffering of sugar diabetes. No one fills up the form and say, I want to apply for cancer. I want to be next in line to have cancer. No one. No one wakes up in the morning and say, oh, wait, I want to have uh, sugar diabetes. Nobody. And the many who are going through that attack, attacks in their body, feel victimized by it. Overnight, you're not know, feeling well. You have symptoms here and there. And you decided to uh, go visit a doctor's room. And while the doctor says it seems like uh, there is one, two, three, but we will investigate. Your heart is beating, you're bubbling, you're sweating. The following day when you come, it gives you an envelope and say you should be strong. And you're wondering, being strong of what? It tells you as you open this envelope, what we have seen in you is not interesting, is not good. It seems like uh, something in you is eating you from inside. And suddenly you do not know what to do, what to make of it. If you're a father, you're thinking of your children. If you're a mother, you're thinking of your children. You are asking yourself, how will my tomorrow be? A young man, you're looking at your future, and suddenly it seems to be dark. You're scratching your head, you feel lost. You're wondering, why me? Why me? What is it that I have done? Ladies and gentlemen, there is a remedy in God. The enemy comes with all kinds of uh, tricks on you. In fact, sometimes we feel so locked, so squeezed, we have the feeling that our back is against the wall. The wall behind us seems to be too tall. We can't jump. There is literally no way out. The enemy says to you, I got you where I wanted you to be. Fear no child of God. My name is Alf Lukau, and I'm here to serve God, bringing you the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is good news. There is hope for you in God. There is hope for you in God. God is about to turn your story around. If I get an amen, DJ will manifest in your life. Dr. Jesus, he still heals today. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. I have seen him heal men and women of uh, uh, all kinds of diseases. He healed yesterday and he still heals today. And he will do something for you, something that material things cannot produce. Something that money cannot buy. I want you to get ready because right here, while we're going through the presentation of what Dr. Jesus has for you, DJ, you will receive something. Oh, well, distance is on a barrier. Believe you me, miracles do happen. And there is a miracle with your name on it. Do you know that this is a setup? Do you know that you, do not just, you did not just bump into this program? That the Lord had orchestrated that you may be on the other side and listen to what he has to say. Or oh, well, I'm just merely an instrument being used by God to vehicle to you his mind. You are loved by God. Jesus Christ loves you. And he doesn't want matters to continue this way. He want to rescue you from the pit of hell. Where the enemy wanted you to be, Jesus Christ doesn't want you to be. He has a better place for you. He's turning your test into a testimony. It doesn't matter if those out there have said that uh, the problem in you is chronical or it is incurable. There is nothing that can do to get you out of it. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. Today and forever. What he did yesterday, he will do today. Do you believe the word of God? Do you believe that uh, he bought you with a price? You are redeemed by Jesus. I have seen a young child, five years old, diagnosed with cancer. Both father and mother were in tears, crying over the little child, wondering and asking God, Lord, is there anything you can do? When they met me, they said that they had exhausted every avenue to find solution for the child. The mother was in tears. The father was in tears. 
They were all broken inside. And when I look at them, I, can, I could see exhaustion. This matter dragged for such a long time. Both father and mother suffered of great fatigue, fighting this devil, asking themselves a thousand questions without answers, seeing their little child going through pain and asking themselves, which sin did we commit that this child may go through so much? And I remember as I was looking at them crying and I could not hold myself, I was all in tears in tears because I could identify to their pain. So we look to DJ, Dr. Jesus. He does not fail. It is his perfect will that you may be in health. It is God's ordained will, established perfect will, that it may be well with you. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces will never be covered with shame. I remember in tears we called on Jesus and right there the little child who was asleep in the hand of his mother opened their eyes and looked at me and said, Pastor Alf, Pastor Alf, Pastor Alf, I was surprised that a little child knew about me because you see from America where they came from. They kept on watching this man of God who keeps on speaking about a great God, a God who has no limit. And they kept on connecting this child from far to this altar. And Dr. Jesus Christ, the healer, Dr. Jesus Christ, who was the great physician, Dr. Jesus Christ, who was able to do what no man can do. He was not voted God. He cannot be fired. He has not expired. He has not grown weaker. The same again yesterday, today, and forever. It touched the life of this young child, and his life turned around. He was completely set free from cancer. Do you believe Jesus Christ is still the healer? Do you believe he's able to heal what men have deemed incurable, meaning there is no cure for it? He is the same, I say it, and I will say it loud. I'll go till the ends of the earth and bring hope to those who are hopeless and tell them the story is not over because Jesus Christ is the, has the last word. In your life, Jesus Christ has the last word. I am here to speak prophetically. It is through the prophetic anointing of God that this miracle will happen to you. The miracle in your health will manifest as I speak and I declare prophetically over you. The Lord is about to restore you completely. It is a revelation that you got to get of him. DJ, Dr. Jesus, he still heals today. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's about to turn your story around. Or oh, while you say, they told me, my situation will not go away. It is a condition. And I shall make a way to live with this condition. You don't have to, dear. You don't have to. He died on the cross of Calvary and paid the price in full. You owe nobody nothing. Jesus Christ paid the price in full. So you may be well. I say again, he died on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. He shed his blood, paid the price for you and for me to be well. You don't have to live with this condition. Remember, if you believe wrong, you cannot live right. You must change your way of thinking, your way of believing. If you believe that it is okay to be sick once in a while, it is okay to go through that calamity. Let me tell you, it will become part of you. Because faith has the ability to attract things to you and stick them in your life. If you believe prosperity, faith has the ability to attract prosperity into your life and stick prosperity in your life. If you believe that the devil is so powerful that every Monday or every Tuesday he may knock you down, once in a while, every week, you will feel the feast of the devil. 
But if you believe that uh, you are great in God and God is great in you, no devil will come near you because it shall be done to you according to your faith. I don't know how many people I'm speaking to, but there is somebody that the Lord had anointed me for, and it is you, I believe, my dear. You have prayed for this moment, and uh, you have been uh, trusting that uh, God will do something. Or while you say, God locates me, is locating you with this word, is doing for you what only he can do. DJ, Dr. Jesus, is about to make you well again. Or while you say, I'm not sick, I feel good, I feel strong. Whether you feel sick, diagnosed by a medical doctor or not, hear me. Jesus Christ has given you health, good health as your heritage. Receive it. Live in it. Whatever sickness that could have been in you will disappear. And whatever sickness that could have come to you will never find you. You will remain in good health in the name of Jesus Christ. He lived on earth for 33 years. Never is it reported that he woke up with morning sicknesses, that he had arthritis. No, he was well. And Paul says, or John says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be well, that you may prosper as your soul prospers and that you may be in health. You see, it is the wish of God in the spiritual realm that uh, you may be in good health. I'm here to pronounce good health in the name of Jesus. Sickness leaves you in Jesus' name. No disease no infirmity is permitted to be in your body in the name of Jesus. Your loved ones are free by the power of the name of Jesus. Healing is your portion. There are families that the enemy had locked in the pit of disease and sicknesses. The entire family. They all died the same way. They all suffer of the same calamity, the same disease the same sickness. Today, the Lord want to break the yoke of the enemy. DJ, Dr. Jesus, is about to do what only he can do. Now, I want to invite you to read with me from the book of Matthew 15, verse 29 to 31. I am merely laying the foundation. It will be a very interesting journey. He has sent his word. His word healed them. So as you receive the word of God, I want you to know that uh, his word will heal you. I speak healing over you in the name of Jesus. The coughing must go. The symptoms that uh, you are seeing popping all over your body must disappear. Before this telecast is over, may every symptom of sickness leave your body in the name of Jesus. Your loved one who are struggling with health-related issues are receiving the healing, the deliverance in the name of Jesus. The Lord our God will do it. Well, I am here anointed by God. I am here doing what he said I should do. And ladies and gentlemen, my God has never been wrong and he has never ever disappointed me. I say to the world, if your God is dead, come and try mine. He's strong and mighty. It does not fail those who trust in him. It doesn't. When you put your faith in this God, you will experience the abundance of his glory. Healing is being activated prophetically in your atmosphere. Sickness disappears in the name of Jesus. I am anointed right now to arise as a warrior to fight battles in your health and give you victory in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15, verse 29, Jesus departed from them, skirted the sea of Galilee, and went on the mount, mountain and sat down there. 
and hear this. Then great multitude came to him, having with them the lamb, blind, mute, maimed, and many others. And they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. So the multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking. The maimed made whole, the lamb walking and the blind seeing. They glorified the God of Israel. The God of Israel is about to be glorified again. Now the Bible says Jesus Christ uh, moving to a new place as he went from one place to another to minister the gospel and fulfill his uh, assignment, divine assignment among men. While he sat at the mountain, the Bible says, men of all walks of life, a multitude came to him, bringing him all who were oppressed, men who were sick. The Bible speaks of uh, uh, verse 9, uh, uh, verse uh, 30, the Bible speaks of uh, the, the lame, the blind, the, the mute, the may made. May made here, it is. Uh, really strange because when we speak about may made we're talking about people wounded people who have been uh, involved in a horrible accident people who are uh, 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 injured so injured that they could not recover the situation were very bad so they brought all those people i can just see how disastrous that could be and many others, men and women who suffered of all kinds of disease and sicknesses, they were all brought to Jesus' cross and they laid them down at Jesus' feet. To lay them down, he was supposed that these men were dependent on those who brought them to Jesus. That shows the, the severity or the seriousness of their condition. So they brought them and laid them before Jesus. They were lame, they were blind, they were maimed, they, they, they were maimed, they, they, they had all kind of uh, 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 incurable diseases. It was very difficult for them. They were in pain, probably some of them were crying. They were uh, 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 in agony. They brought them and laid them before Jesus Christ at the feet of Jesus. Hear me, there is healing at the feet of Jesus. I want to invite you all to come at the feet of Jesus. I have seen him do awesome miracles, freely given to his sons and daughters. I want to invite you, you have suffered long. There is healing at the feet of Jesus. What man cannot do for you, what church cannot do for you, what a denomination cannot do for you, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is able to do it for you. There is healing at the feet of Jesus. If you miss it in church, if you miss it uh, from a man of God, you will not miss it at the feet of Jesus. So they brought this man, not to the disciples, they brought them at the feet of Jesus. And they laid them down before Jesus Christ. The Bible say, coma. And he, Jesus, healed them. He did not just look at them, he healed them. Those people who brought, those who were sick, had some form of hope and expectation. But the really did not know how it will unfold. The miracle that they were expecting, how it will unfold. They just were cleaving on some hope. Some people heard that Jesus Christ healed yesterday. They, they, they did not have enough. Hear me. Jesus Christ said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, if you have faith as a master seed, you will speak to a mountain, move, a mountain will move. Sometimes all that God is requiring of you is not the greatest faith ever. If you believe him like a child, if you believe him and not question his method and not question him, he will turn your situation around. Your mind may be asking you how. The best specialist downtown failed you. How will it be? 
Chemo did not help you. You are really at the verge of your life. It seems like you are on the path of no return. The devil is a liar. I say the devil is a liar. I serve this God. He is the uncreated creator. He say, I am the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? If you believe him, he will do something for you. There is nothing too hard for him to do. Nothing too hard for him to do. To turn your story around, to turn the story of your loved one around, will not take much from him. The centurion man said to Jesus Christ, I'm not worthy that you may come under my roof, but say a word. All I came for is just a word, one word, and my servant will be healed. Well, Jesus Christ is speaking to you. This is really prophetic. The centurion man's story is prophetic. It was as if Jesus Christ was coming live, stream. In the house of the centurion man, without being physically there, he just pronounced and speak through the waves. And the servant in the spiritual realm were reached. And the Bible say he was healed at that very time, very minute. He heals today. He will turn your story around. DJ, Dr. Jesus, his power has not grown weak. I have seen him heal yesterday and is about to heal somebody right here, right now. Because at the feet of Jesus, there is healing. And our Lord Jesus still heals today. He is in the business of healing his people. Verse 31, the Bible says, so, so the multitude marveled. The multitude marveled. The mother, they were dismayed, they were perplexed by the glory of God. 31. The multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking. The multitude, men and women of all walks of life who came from uh, literally every corner of uh, the, 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 the region, they brought the sick. They laid them at the feet of Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ, without asking any question, healed them. He healed them. He didn't ask for an offering. He didn't ask for a seed. He healed them. He didn't question the source, the cause of their pain. He healed them. No question asked. And today is healing you. I know, I know is healing you. What I saw in the vision, the Lord leading me to this hospital ward with so many people lay down in both sides of the ward, sick of all kinds of diseases and sickness. And God using me as if I was a medical doctor. He healed each one of them, restored them, and brought them to join me in the journey of trusting him and doing this work, be, being the vessel chosen by him to vehicle healing to others. You will be healed and you will become the vessel of God for healing. Men and women will come from all walks of life to you, and they will be healed. The Bible said the multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking. Now, they marveled. They brought those mute people. They brought the sick, but they did not understand how it will be. They did not know the, 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 the full story. They did not know how it will unfold. They just knew one thing, that Jesus Christ would do something. 
Sometimes you need to come to God and say, Lord, I don't know. I don't know how it will unfold. I do not know whatever needs to be done for my situation to turn around. But I want to believe you. I want to believe that you will do something for me. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. I may not be the best singer, but this is not a song merely to satisfy some hearing out there. It is my prayer. I cannot do without you. Cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh, Lord, I cannot do without you. Cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh, Lord, I know how there you are crying. I know you are connecting. You are making this your song. The melody you're hearing is the right expression of what you're feeling inside. I can hear the sound of your soul saying, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. I say, you may not have all the answers. You may not know how God will do it, but if you will believe him, he will do it. The marveled. The marveled seeing the miracle of God. They saw the mute speaking. The meme made whole again you see when we speak about mehmed we're talking about cripple we're talking about mutilated people we're talking about injured people some of them injured so severely that the damages were permanent when we speak about mehmed we mehmed we're talking about Wounded, people deprived of their members. It was horrible. But even such people have been restored by God. He made them whole again. The lamb walking. Now, this was in the time of Jesus Christ. I've seen so many of those who could not walk, standing up. By the power of the name of Jesus, taking the step and walking. Not two, not 20, not 200, but the thousands. I have seen them through my life. I've seen them in the body of Christ all over the world, receiving miracles. And Jesus Christ calls the lame to walk and the blind to see again. And as men and women who came from all over that region saw what the Lord did, they marveled and they glorified the God of Israel. You are about to glorify the God of Israel. He did it yesterday, he will do it again. There is no situation that is above his head. No situation, no disease, no sickness is too strong to resist the love of God for you. He loves you. He will do something new for you. God is powerful. God is greater than what the doctor have said. Please hear me. Jesus Christ in John 11 stood and spoke to the people at a cemetery, not a hospital. 
he commanded them to remove the stone. And the man who was laid inside has been there for four days. His body was wasted. He was rotten. His story ended already. This man who laid there, Lazarus by name, was gone. But Jesus Christ said, mm -mm, he's coming back to life. Now, he called with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. The Bible reports that the one who was dead came back to life. Now, this is not a myth. This is not a story to, uh, to motivate or just entertain you. This is not a cartoon. This is a story that truly happened. And if Jesus Christ resurrected a man who was dead for four days, whose body was completely gone, a man who was wasted, still came back to life, how much more you? You are still alive. I see you may say that I have lost my weight. You have still your body. Lazarus lost his body. You may say that they have uh, diagnosed me with uh, an incurable virus, a disease in my blood. But at least your lungs still functions. You are still here. Your eyes can still open. There is still a heartbeat. There is hope for you. If Lazarus came back to life, how much more you, my beloved in the Lord? I want you to get ready. Be on your mark. Something good is about to happen to you. I said to you earlier on, DJ, Dr. Jesus, the healer, still heals today. I need you to be on your mark for a miracle. I need you to wait for it. Expect its manifestation. There is no one under the sound of my voice that will remain sick. I say there is no one under the sound of my voice that I will remain sick. You will not miss that which the Lord has said for you. I declare it prophetically. I am speaking as an authorized mouth of God. With the little, the smallest faith you can ever have. Just get hold of this word and let a miracle happen to you. I want to read the second verse with you in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38. I love this word. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. May God raise men and women who are anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. Men and women whose motive is to fulfill the agenda of God because they are anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. Men and women who do not stand to fulfill the agenda of their own hearts. Men and women who are not driven by some forces out there that want to satisfy the flesh desire. Men and women who have laid themselves on the altar of God and given themselves to God as living sacrifices because they are anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. May the anointing of God prone in your life more than your qualifications in life, your academic qualification, be it in the secular world or in the Christian world, the theological world. May you be led by God because of the anointing he had vested in you. Jesus Christ was anointed. Now, if Jesus Christ was anointed, how much more you? If you have to serve God, you got to serve God because and with the anointing of the Holy Spirit and of power. I pray again. May you be anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. I am anointed. I don't speak to you because I feel like. I speak to you because I have been commissioned. I've been equipped. This is my waters. I am like a fish in the river, in the water. What I am doing right now in the spiritual realm is what he had commissioned me for.
I have been equipped by God to speak in this way, to release the power of God over you, to break the yoke of the enemy over you. And as you are connected with me now, the Bible says, if two will agree and ask anything in my name, it shall be given unto them. I need you to believe that God will do something outstanding in your life. A miracle will happen. Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. And hear this. Because of that, he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. Jesus Christ, by the anointing of God, not by the desire of fame, by the power of God, he was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. I want somebody to pray. I want somebody to lift his hand and say, anoint me, O God, with the Holy Spirit and with power. Say again, anoint me, O God, with the Holy Spirit and with power. As Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, the Bible says he went about doing good. He went everywhere, from place to place, doing good. You cannot be anointed with the Holy Spirit and power and you are going all about hurting others, competing with others, showing off. The anointing of God is to help those who are broken, to restore their lives, to catch those who are falling, to be a blessing. Once the anointing of God is rested in your life, the Lord will use your life to open doors for others. The Lord will use your life to be the strength of others. The anointing of God empowers you so you may empower others. Once an anointed man manifests among men, the anointing on his life will break the yoke of the enemy among those around him. I pray again, may you be anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. Jesus Christ, because of the anointing, he was anointed with. The Bible says he went about doing. You see, the anointing empowers you in the doing. He went about doing good. May you be found doing good in the name of Jesus. He went about doing good and healing. You see, healing was part and parcel of the definition of the very mission Jesus Christ had on earth. He healed our spirit, he healed our soul, and he healed our bodies. He restored us. Holistically, he brought us back. We are reconciled with the Father. He, he restored mankind. He healed our land. He healed our family. He healed our generation. He healed those whose bloodlines are linked to him. He's the healer. And the Bible says he went about doing good and healing, oh God. Healing. I speak good health unto you. The Jesus Christ who went about healing is the Jesus Christ I am speaking to you about. He healed yesterday and is healing today. He went about healing all who were oppressed, not some who were oppressed. He healed all who were oppressed. Are you under some form of physical oppression of the enemy? Is it that your heart is not well? You're having palpitations? Do you have problems sleeping? Do you have migraine? Is it that you have a child whose mind is not sane? What is the trouble you are going through? What is the burden the enemy had laid on your shoulder that is uh, pushing you down? What spirit has been released from hell to cripple your future? Jesus Christ, the healer, DJ, Dr. Jesus, still heals today. He wants you free, and he will heal all of you. If you are watching me, if you are connected with me, if you can dare to believe, 
you will receive the glory of God. You will testify that indeed he is a merciful God. He healed, he healed all who were oppressed by the devil. As we go through the word, day after day, we'll break the word down, speaking about DJ, Dr. Jesus, who still heals today. Speaking about the healing power God, we'll break this word and the Lord will reveal to you where sickness comes from. The three different sources of sicknesses. And the Lord will lock the doors of the enemy. He will give you your health back. You'll be able to stand and wake up in the morning with uh, your body full of energy. You will stand up and say, thank you. Merci, Jésus. Obrigado, if you speak Portuguese. The Lord is about to do something outstanding. Jesus went about doing good and healing all the way, oppressed by the devil. Come, for God was with him. There is nothing that fills my heart with joy more than the presence of God. For God was with him. When the presence of God manifests, the works of the enemy is, are destroyed. When the presence of God manifests, the works of the enemy are destroyed. When the presence of God manifests, the works of the enemy are destroyed. Today, I pray that the works of the enemy may be destroyed in your life. In the name of Jesus. Now, I have used this opportunity given to me by God to lay the foundation. The Lord spoke to me. And I had seen the vision, so many people being healed and uh, turned into healers or medical doctors as I saw in the vision. I believe that there is a wave of healing and God has remembered you, is healing you and is healing your loved ones. We begin the journey today, tomorrow we'll carry on. I want to deal with uh, some stronghold that uh, stand between you and the believing of your heart that God is still able to manifest his goodness. Tomorrow, I want to break those strongholds. I want to address them so I may pave the way that you may experience more and more the glory of God and the power of God, the miracle of God. Through these teachings, I will deal with uh, uh, different topics or different points. We'll talk about divine health versus sickness and disease. You will come to appreciate what the Lord has done on the cross of Calvary. Your heritage in God, divine health. You are struggling, you are fighting in silence, you are drowning. It will never be so anymore. In the name of Jesus. We talk about the healing power of God. Is the healing power of God still real? Does God still heal? I want you to get, to get it from the word of God. That uh, God's power of healing is real. It is unlimited. It is reliable. And it is indispensable for you. You must have the knowledge, the revelation that he is the healer for you now, for you tomorrow, and for those you love in the name of Jesus. None of us, none of us can do without it. It is priceless. There is no price for your health. Together we'll see how to receive your divine healing. I believe that as I'm speaking now, some of you are receiving it. You are getting hold of it. You are sealing it. It is settling in you. And we will go through the word more and more. So that what God began to do may be settled in you. Be established completely in you. In the name of Jesus. And we will see together how to maintain yourself in good health. Oh, we are about to kick some serious devils out of many people's lives. There will be testimonies in hundreds of millions. I speak as an authorized mouth of God. The time of the supernatural is here. 
the blind will see again. You have a blind brother, a blind sister, someone that you love who cannot see, someone who's so sick that his eyes are failing him, his sight is failing him. The Lord will do something. I don't want you to expect God to meet you in the point of nature, natural things. No. The extraordinary will happen. Some people in their homes will shout that neighbors will come and knock the doors. They will see the glory of God in an awesome way. Do you believe this word? If you believe this word, so shall it be in your life. I pray that God may bless you. Tomorrow we continue with the word of God. Our time is up. I need you to be ready. This week is uh, an exciting week because this is our last week before we fulfill the instruction given to us prophetically by God. Our prophetic instruction will fast from the 1st of July till the 7th of July, seeking the face of God, calling on his name, and daily we will make declaration, prophetic declaration as per the Lord's instruction of the 77 prophetic declaration given to us. We will make those prophetic declaration available to you. You will be able to go through that, through them, each one of them daily and the glory of God will be made manifest. And also through this time Next week, we will have the privilege of presenting to God our PM07, our prophetic miracle offering of seven. Now you must know that is a seal. That is the trigger and the seal. It will connect you to your altar. It will turn things around. It is prophetic. Do not give to God what does not cost you, the law of sacrifice. What does not move you will never move God. What cannot cost you, does not shake you, will never pay you. I am praying the blessings of God upon you. I pray the grace of God upon you. May God who began to do this good work fulfill it in Jesus' name. This evening from 10 to 11 C80 Central African time, I'll be here leading you to a moment of prayer. We will seek the face of God and enjoy the prophetic moment with God. Until then, I want you to know I love you and may God bless you. Shalom. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.